Hello again, we're here at Nate's Garage talking about things that you definitely are going to need. Um, everyone needs a great multimeter. It can be one of the most, if not the most, essential tool that you will use on today's modern vehicles. <laughs> and not just any multimeter because I promise you, they are different. And as you'll see this, this is a fluke. 88 V it's a Roman numeral there and this is a um, comes in a set of 500 a automotive uh, meter it's the newest one they have it's a very expensive meter um, also this has a lot of functionality it does obviously everything a typical multimeter would do, but it also can check your RPMs. It can do a minimum maximum feature. Um, it even has a barcode or see at the bottom here, there's a bar or should I say graph that goes back and forth and with the analog meter, Sometimes in certain situations to test, say, a pump, um, whether it's a um, water pump for your home or for quick tests where a typical multimeter wouldn't pick it up, this meter will pick it up. You can use it for relay testing you won't have to carry around those extra relays anymore um, this is very very accurate um, you can change the settings this is an auto ranging meter so it can match the voltage on its own but also it has another feature you can put it in manual mode 6 volts pick up the faintest 60 600 also it has a little light you hit this button for a little light um, you can have the minimum maximum feature so say you go in your car to test the starter out and you're able to uh, see the minimum and maximum value that you wanted to see while you're not actually at the multimeter there's a lot of um, things that are made to go with this like for the RPM it comes with a special clamp that you can put in right here now this clamp right here this is totally different this is a amp what well, an amp clamp to check amperage and this is a very important tool also now I bought this separate the amp clamp is separate it's the I-1010 Fluke. Uh, this is the best brand that you can find, best quality. Um, this meter really will do a lot. Uh, testing throttle position sensors. It'll test basically everything on your vehicle. And it'll do anything. A regular multimeter plus 100 times more. Um... We could spend all day going into the features, um, but what I do recommend is when you decide you want to use this, something you need to know is um, not only will you be able to use it for, you can see this is a little dirty, um, it's got a little stand there, you know, um, it's got a place right here, it comes with a little deal that slides in here and it has a very strong magnet so you can hang it of course this expensive multimeter you know you may not feel like hanging it but what I like to do is because vehicles vibrate is set it on the vehicle somewhere and then the magnet kind of sticks to it so I don't have to worry about it vibrating and falling off um, also this meter um, something to keep in mind is a lot of these functions that are built in, like some of these functions you could use, say, a regular multimeter um, that's able to be used for 
testing a throttle position sensor and say you could use this regular multimeter to do say the same job maybe this one would but not only accuracy is very important but something else to keep in mind but the unlimited or I'm sorry the lifetime warranty that comes with this multimeter and the functionalities that are built into this multimeter obviously you can use them for just about anything else in the world you could um, any other multimeter but the difference in this multimeter and why it's called the automotive multimeter is because they built features in mind for things like the throttle position sensor and to test electric motors and things like that so that the diagnostics would be much simpler much easier and much more accurate so um, in the book that's included it shows you all this information so keep in mind just that um, so it will be able to amplify what it, what any other multimeter would do. So, you know, using this one and using a regular one that I have put up, an old cheap Craftsman one, um, doing the same function, like say testing throttle position sensor. Oh, it's it's like bread and butter. And, you know, come on. You know, this one's definitely going to get the job done. I definitely recommend looking into it. You know, you can see it right here. You know that. I'm sorry. Let me focus in. 88V Fluke Automotive Multimeter. Now, like I said, I got like the it's a 500A. Um, it's like a kit. And it comes with the amp clamp and so forth. Um, there's other things. That come, it has uh, really, really long test leads. Uh, it comes with little pins specially made to back probe. Um, it comes with a lot of other little um, knickknacks, if you will, um, that are very, very handy and useful and a necessity in um, doing your um, doing your work. Uh, it also comes with pins, um, the leads. To the multimeter and the leads are the wires they plug in it uh, the ends of the leads come off and you can attach other attachments to them so say the back probing pins will attach in there's all different sizes and types so there's a lot of little things um, definitely look into it and if you're investing in electrical equipment you can see i have other things that like i said didn't come with this i bought these separately uh, this is a special tool that we'll talk about also, but if you'll look right here. This is a Pelican Storm case. Great price, great meter, but I can promise you one thing. If anything is going to protect this electrical equipment, which is very costly, you're looking at about a thousand dollars worth of equipment. Of course, this meter, the amp clamp, different story I got it, this meter used it's a uh, you can look over a four hundred dollar meter I bought this about a year or two years ago but um, it pl actually plugs into my multimeter which is very very handy rather than it just being a, a meter all by itself uh, very handy going with this but um, it's a four hundred dollar meter but let me tell you one thing I found this, I looked around, looked around. No one had registered the warranty on this when I found it online. And it was used. I bought it for $100. So, 25% of the original cost. And no one even registered it. So, I registered it. Okay. In the Pelican case, if I'm not mistaken, I gave about $100 for it. Now, for this... I want to say I gave about four or five hundred dollars for, but like I said, it comes with a lot in the box. It comes in its own little fluke box, but it comes in its own little fluke box. As you can see right here, you know, it's a decent little case. I mean, it's no Pelican case, that's for sure. 
and it can't hold all my meters, so I like to have most of my electrical equipment together. Plus, I mean, I'm lucky to just to hold all my leads in here. This is called the Power Pro. And let me tell you, this is a very useful tool, and we'll touch that subject another time. But it's a special lead that hooks into any multimeter, and you can do a lot with it. Now, right here is a book to this model 88V automotive multimeter. Now there's there's a newer one and there is an older one. Um, you can see right here dwell number of cylinders duty cycle. Uh, it'll oh it comes with a temperature probe. Of course you can do resistance continuity. Um, can do a diode test smoothing power up option only current has a current test of its own you don't have to have an amp probe for small things oh and it comes that's the rpm meter that it comes with <clears throat> to measure rpm it does pulse width it does frequency This is the min max feature auto hold, so it'll hold something as you're testing it. High resolution mode, uh, relative zero. It's a very, very good meter. And the power probe, it's totally different. Or, I'm sorry, load probe, it's totally different. But it's very important also. Here's the clamp that goes on your spark plug wire to test RPMs. Here's the leads. Very, very nice leads that it comes with really long. Here's the the probes. And see these are these will go in and out like that. It's very handy. It has a piercing probe. So, you can pull this back if you look real close. You can see, well, so that you can screw the bottom in and it'll make this needle pop up. You stick your wire in between it. That little needle pierces it. This way you don't have to cut the wire to check it. Then put some... There's the temperature probe and some of the other probes in the bottom. But I just thought you should see the box that it came with. Well, thank you all very much for joining in on Nate's Garage.